everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Karen and I'm here today to bring you a very exciting video. We're going to do a Walt Disney World haul video today. I think I said before but these kind of videos are really close to my heart because Walt Disney World haul videos were the first videos that I started to watch on YouTube. That's how I got into watching vlogs and it's how I eventually ended up making this channel. If you're not subscribed please do hit that subscribe button down below. I also have vlogs from my trip to Walt Disney World. They're already going up right now. I'm pretty sure you'll be up to at least day five at this stage. So there's plenty on there for you to watch. I've also got vlogs from Disneyland California. I've got vlogs from Shanghai, Paris, lots of Disney content on there and also just some lifestyle stuff as well. So I visited Walt Disney World just last month so I'm not back too long. Normally I'm really bad at getting these haul videos out like soon after my trip but this time I was like no Karen you're gonna get it done get it out so I can actually put my stuff away because otherwise they sit in the bags in my room and like I live in London I don't have a very big room so they take up a lot of space so yeah I really wanted to get this one done so I can actually put my stuff away and um, I have told my parents by the way not to watch this video because I do have some presents here for them but just in case you've ended up on this video by mistake mom or dad turn it off now okay <laughs> right so let's get straight into it I'm going to take out one of the biggest items that I got um, size wise <laughs> which is this alien popcorn bucket. Oh, he's all tangled in his antenna. Look how cute is this? I have seen this in so many vlogs and I wanted it for so long. Actually my good friend Amy who went out just before us and who we hung out with on the trip was there for her honeymoon and she posted the cutest picture of her like wearing this popcorn bucket in Toy Story Land a few days before we went over and I was like I need to make it a mission of mine to get one of these popcorn buckets on this trip. It's so cool. His mouth like just opens and then you put your popcorn inside. <laughs> I was just checking there to make sure it was clean. I did pop a few things inside of this when I brought it home. So it was in my big case and I put, I think I put like candles. I put something, something like delicate. I think I might've put like toiletries or something in there. So it kept it safe because obviously this is hard and then maximize space in the case. Because that tends to be why like I don't buy things like popcorn buckets because of space on the way home. Like they take up so much space. But yeah, this little guy was worth it. He's a little bit tricky <laughs> to close. Hold on. There we go. Um, so I also bought um, the uh, Pop Secret, I think it's called, which is the brand of popcorn that they use in Disney World. And I was like... I can make some of my microwave popcorn, put it in my popcorn bucket, and then I can sit here watching Disney vlogs and pretending like I'm still there. So <laughs> um, I don't actually know the exact price of this. I think it was, tw I think actually I know it was $50 for two. So it was about $25 because I remember I paid for mine and Rachel's together. So yeah, he was really cool. We got some popcorn. I actually got some free popcorn in him um, during our trip. I just went up to one of the popcorn stands to get a popcorn refill and they said it was on Mickey. So he's a lucky popcorn bucket in my eyes. <laughs> So next I got these Mickey corn holders. Now I'm actually like a massive, massive fan. I don't know if you can see them too well. There we go. I'm a massive fan of corn on the cob. Like it's a bit of an obsession. <laughs> the amount of times like I'll make corn on the cob and my boyfriend is just like, really? Seriously? Again? Corn on the cob? Like I'm just, I'm so obsessed with it. I love making corn on the cob. It just, I don't know what it is. Like it does get in your teeth. It's a bit annoying, but there's just something about it. I just love it. So I figured this was a good purchase for me so I can have like four corn of the cobs and you have like your little Mickey hands as the um, corn holders. So like you hold the Mickey hands on either side and then eat the corn. So yeah, I'm very excited to try that out. Um, this was only $6.99 as well. I think when I saw the price, I was like, I definitely have to get that. It's such a good price and it's really cool. <laughs> So the next item I didn't actually buy, but I got because I have a annual pass and it is a pass holder benefit during food and wine that you can get these coasters. I actually haven't opened these yet. So basically how you got these coasters was if you went to Epcot, you had to go register on your first day you went to Epcot and you actually got a magnet at that stage as well, which I may have in here somewhere as well to show you. Um, but after four visits, you then went back to where you registered, which when I was there, it was Mouse Gears or I think Port of Entry. And um, then you just got these coasters. So you literally just had to show up four times to the park during your stay, which we did like absolutely no problem, especially when we were staying in the boardwalk, like we were popping back and forth to Epcot. So 
so much. So these are the coasters. Let me bring that up closer. Aren't they so cute? Now last year they did exactly the same thing except it was with a chopping board. So now I've got like a chopping board and matching coasters. So the chopping board was Mickey though. So yeah, I wonder what they'll do next year. Really interesting. It's like some things that are in here, I literally have completely forgotten that I've purchased. <laughs> I'm only back a couple of weeks. Like anyway. Okay, so the next item that I got was from Starbucks, but it was Starbucks in the parks. And it is the Magic Kingdom mug. I even have to check there what park did I get this from. I don't even remember. Um, so yeah, it's the Magic Kingdom mug. And the reason I like this one is because it has a top on it, which helps, you know, keep your drink warm. And the one that I have um, from Disney World that I got a good few years ago now, actually, is kind of... It's like on its last legs now. It needs to go, unfortunately. And I'm actually moving jobs. So I thought what I'd do is get rid of my current mug, which is the Mickey like really swell one. It's really nice though. But anyway, I'll get rid of that one when I leave my current job. And then when I start my new job, I'll have a brand new mug that I can bring in for my desk. So I'll show you this one up close because the design on it is really nice. But you can see you've got like Mickey, you've got like orange bird here. You've got, I think that's Thunder Mountain there. You've got the teacup, and it says Magic Kingdom. You've got the castle got um is that pirates i'm trying i'm looking at this in, in the background so um i think that's pirates there yo ho and then you've got um space mountain this is like the it's the small world um vehicle did i miss anything there oh it has like the entrance i really like the entrance that's so cool so yeah and then it's got like the um the doom buggies from um haunted mansion and yeah it's just it's so cool it's got lots of little intricate magic kingdom details and yeah i really like that i'm so excited to use that so the next thing that i got was actually from basin which is in disney springs i got just a standard um soap dish uh, my sister said she got something similar but she was looking for ages oh no she she got this one she got something similar. She got the exact same one. She'd been looking for it for ages. That's what it was. And when she saw it, she was like, this is exactly the kind of soap dish I've been looking for. And she wasn't able to find it. Because you'll see it's like kind of curved like this, which means that when you leave the soap on it, the excess like water and gunk and stuff will just drain off the side. And it was only $6.99. And then we also had like our uh, annual pass discount. And also, yeah, just so you know, I did have annual pass discount on everything that I've purchased, which was 20% the whole time that we were there. Um, so yeah, like $6.99, I thought that was pretty decent. I also decided to get a couple of soaps and I've never actually bought soaps from Basin, but I always go in and smell them. And so this time I was like, it's about time to get some soaps, especially because I'd seen the soap dish. I needed to get some soaps to go in it. So I got this um, Christmas one, which is holiday it's just called holiday and um, i don't actually think it has anything like disney specific in it but it smelled amazing you can't really it's packaged quite well you can't really smell it that much now but it kind of smelled like like a little bit sweet like candy canes but also just like i don't know i don't have to explain it but it just smelled really nice i don't think it tells you on here no it doesn't but it is the one that's called holiday but they did have a few like different christmas ones while we were there so you can see up close there it's got like a christmas tree and then just some colors and stuff here. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. And then I got this really cute one that looks like a watermelon. So it looks like a watermelon, but it's actually got like, you can't really see because of the stickers, but it's actually got like Mickey heads here. And then it's just the watermelon colors. So I thought that was cute. So moving on to some stuff that I got in the character warehouse. I will go back to stuff I got in the parks. This is kind of like a mis mishmash. Mishmash. Is that what you say it? or mismatch. Is mishmash the thing as well? <laughs> Comment below, I have no idea. <laughs> so this was definitely from the character warehouse. So this is a top for my dad and it's got a cruise line symbol on it. So that might give you a hint as to what we are planning for our next Disney adventure. Yeah, <laughs> no more on that just yet because things aren't fully finalized. But I think like when you see the kind of merch that we've purchased for our parents, it's pretty obvious what we're planning to do with our next trip. So um, yeah, this has like the Disney Cruise Line um, symbol here. And do you know, it looks like a really nice top. They actually had such nice men's stuff. I think me and Rachel actually did get a couple of men's things in the end because they just had so much more choice. Like this is lovely and soft. Um, do I have, I should have tags i do and um, so this was 54.99 if you bought it full price but in the character warehouse it was 21.99 like how good is that so good so you can see why we ended up buying in advance presents and stuff for our parents so next is this 
cruise line spirit jersey it is actually like a large size because the size and availability wasn't too great but um it's quite similar to one that me and rachel already have um but it's it is different like this symbol here is different to the one that we have um but it is like this sort of nautical stripes and um, but i thought it'd be really nice like if me and rachel have the one that we've already got and then i give this one to my mom she'll have one that's similar and we can get like some nice matching pictures <laughs> whenever we do make it on our next adventure <laughs> um so yeah the spirit jersey was full price 64.99 reduced to 23.99 in the character warehouse so again really good deal but like i say the size availability wasn't great actually for spirit jerseys in particular the spirit jerseys were the hardest so also for my mom i got this cute like nautical top and i thought like it is um disney cruise line but it's like not noticeably disney cruise line it has this like cute little little patch here with the mickey in it but other than that there's nothing else on this that kind of tells you that it's like disney or disney cruise line so i figured she would wear it obviously like for the cruise whenever we go on a cruise but also <laughs> she could wear it in her everyday life um i will have a trip announcement coming uh but it yeah it just won't be until we have everything finalized Next, I got my dad this um, cruise line t-shirt. Again, like I say, men's stuff was just so nice. Um, this just has like the standard cruise line symbol thing and then anchors. I'll just show you up close. So it's got the cruise line symbol and then it's got anchors and stuff as well. And it's just got like a standard collar on it. And that was $21.99 and that was reduced from $59.99, wow. That's quite expensive for a t-shirt. I wonder if that's right because that does seem really expensive for a t-shirt. I mean, it's it's nice material, so I don't know. Like normally like that price would be for, for like spirit jerseys and jumpers and stuff. So I got some ears. <laughs> normally I don't buy a lot of ears, but like these were $5 and ears are expensive. They've gone up to $30 since we left. So we went a bit cray cray and what me and my sister do is that we'll tend to buy sometimes just like one pair of ears and then we'll bring all of our ears and then we'll swap and change like throughout the trip. So we might only get ears in one color. Wait, you know what I'm trying to say? Like is it, <laughs> it, although we both might like a set of ears, we'll only get one pair and then we'll share it. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh my God very confusing and actually some of these ears were less than five dollars some of them were actually two dollars so there was a few that we did get two pairs of just because they were two dollars we were like we might as well these pink ones i got i'm sure these were i'm sure these were 4.99 these were um yeah i'm sure these were 4.99 and then just so you're aware they put these ears out and most of them went within like the first half hour that we were in the store there was some there was a couple of the designs that they had obviously a lot of stock of but most of them like just disappeared so yeah uh, if you haven't seen the vlog from that day like the queues were insane to get in we were there an hour before opening and like by the time we got in they had like corrals like waiting to come into the store and yeah people were waiting a long time out in the serious heat that day so yeah, character warehouse shopping has become pretty intense. Um, so yeah, we got these pink ones. We got these silver ones. I'm sure these were definitely $5. These weren't reduced to two. Um, we got these like green and pink ones. And we got these um, flower ones, uh, which apparently are the flower and garden ears from this year. So um, they had just come into the outlets around the time that we went. And then I got these Buzz Light ears. These were a little bit more. These were $7.99, but I was dressing up as a Buzz Light ear for Mickey's Not So Scary, so they were just perfect. When I saw them, I knew I had to get them. Next up, and a little bit crumpled, <laughs> is um, this shirt that we also got from my dad. Um, and again, this is like, I think quite discreet. Like, look, it's just got this tiny little Mickey in here and it's got the cross and like, oh, this is really nice. I thought this would be nice for like one of the evening meals and um, whenever we do get to go on a cruise. So yeah, I thought dad would like that. And it's like definitely his style of like my dad, if we're on holidays and stuff, dad will like usually wear a shirt in the evening. So I figure he'll get wear out of it. The next item I got, we got from my mom and my sister got because we really liked it. And it is this um, cruise line jacket. Um, so let me show it 
up closer. It just has that cute little symbol on it and it's basically like kind of um like exercise -y material. You know what I mean? Like sports material. Like it's like a little sports jacket. And um, so it's nice and light. It's white which is like never ideal but a lot of the cruise line stuff is white because that's kind of the theme isn't it? The colours but yeah I thought that would be nice. For, oh and I think the zip is cool. How cute is that? So this was $23.99 reduced from $59.99. And actually, I didn't give you the price of this shirt, did I? This shirt was $26.99 reduced from $64.99. So as you can see, there's like pretty decent bargains to be had. I also got this Haunted Mansion t-shirt. We bought one for me, my sister, and my dad because we figured we love to do like the run Disney races. We don't have any planned or scheduled or anything like that. But we thought, you know, if we book one in the future, having three of these is just a very simple, easy outfit to have. They were only $9.99 each, reduced from $29.99. So finally, we went away from character warehouse stuff, which as you can tell, was mostly cruise line. Um, I got these uh, face masks from Japan. So I'm pretty sure Natasha said this was the right brand to get, Lulu Lum. Yeah, because Natasha had arrived, I think, by the time we got these. Um, and they were $9.95, but you get like a lot. I think you get like 10 in the packet. Let me see. I did open these. I think I was planning to use one, but I never did. Looks like it's about 10, um, which is decent, like for 10 face masks, $9.95. And apparently they're really good face masks. So yeah, I'm excited to try these out. Um, I love that shop. What is it called? M Michikoshu? in the Japan Pavilion. I actually go to it in the vlog that I've just edited, which goes up today. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> uh, but I love that shop, it always has some really cool stuff. I'm just moving on to another bag down here, hold on. Oh, so I do have some more, I do have some more outlet stuff. Um, this, I'm sure was from the men's section, but me and Rachel got it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was men's section. And it is a stitch jumper. Let me show you up close. How cute is that? And it's just nice and light and super comfy. And it was $4.99. Yeah, so $4.99. You can't really say no to that. Reduced from $49.99. It's a pretty good deal. Oh, yes. I knew we got some more spirit jerseys. So this one, I assume this is my one. Yes, I think so. Pretty sure this is my one. This is a pink Disney Cruise Line. Yeah, this is my one. I did have some, like I have this stuff obviously with me for my mom and my dad. Rachel has her own stuff. But Rachel didn't have as much luggage weight as I had coming home because she had to fly on the second flight to Ireland, which had less weight than the flight from Orlando. So I did take some of her stuff, but I'm pretty sure this is mine. <laughs> um, and then on the back, it just says Disney Cruise Line. So yeah, I really like this one. This one's really nice. Oh yeah, I'm sure she did get a spirit jersey in small actually, or extra small maybe. Maybe it's extra small. This one's medium, which is my usual, no, I normally get small. So yeah, this is like a little bit bigger than what I usually get. The spirit jerseys are so big. You definitely need to size down for a spirit jersey. So it can be a bit tricky, like I say, when there's not a lot of sizing in the outlets. And I got this cute, cruise line t-shirt has a little pocket on it and just has the anchors on it and again it's pink and it was $7.99 reduced from $32.99 okay we are kind of jumping around between character warehouse stuff and normal stuff uh this was from actually Old Key West oh hair in my eye uh, this is from Old Key West. We actually went to Old Key West purposely to get some DVC stuff because we heard they had good stock. And I actually didn't see this t-shirt anywhere else. So that was a good shout um, from my friend Jen. And yeah, there we go. It says Disney Vacation Club. And then it has like symbols for all the different resorts. And then on the front, it just has the Disney Vacation Club member and a Mickey. And I just like the colors and I thought it was really nice. And I wanted something to you know represent becoming a DVC member which we did this year so yeah I really liked that one this was I think $29.99 this was I actually don't have the tag because I wore this while we were over there oh I found another <laughs> my god we bought so much cruise line stuff it's so bad and um, I got this like super I think this is super oversized yeah like pink throw over really light hoodie it just has the Disney cruise line symbol there and this was $11.99 reduced from $49.95 this is like 2xl it's huge but it's the kind of thing that like I'd wear in the night time like just throw over my pajamas or like 
yeah, just chilling. So I didn't mind that it was oversized. I got another one. Man, like, well, I did a lot of shopping. <laughs> this stuff okay so apparently i got another top very similar to the pink top which is also a light jersey material and has the um <laughs> mickey sign on it but this one has like an anchor on the back and a hood and this is yellow obviously instead of pink i literally do not remember getting this stuff oh my god um and this was 11.99 as well reduced from 49.99 and this is also 2xl so wow <laughs> we did so much damage are you kidding me Honestly, guys, I went crazy in the outlet. I think, you know what it is? Like, there's that kind of mentality about when you have to, like, wait for something. Like, we had to wait outside for so long. There was people queuing to get in. It kind of puts more pressure on you to, like, buy things because you feel like if you don't grab this now, like, somebody else is going to buy it. And, like, it's exclusive to, like, have gotten in in the first place because you had to queue for ages. And so the bargains must be great. Like, that sort of mentality, that sucks me in so bad. I'm like that with, like, Christmas sales and, like, uh, Black Friday sales. I feel like I have to get it, like, because everybody's online trying to buy at the same time. I don't know. Pfft. I bought so much stuff. So this was 19 99 This is this um jumper with Mickey. It is really nice. I just, like, I mean, why have I bought so much stuff? It's all cruise line as well. Um, and it has this cute hood as well. And this is a uh, light hoodie. It's uh, obviously heavier than those tops that I've just shown you but it is still quite light which I like and it just has this cute like cruise line patch here so yeah like I said that was $19.99 reduced from $49.99 I think that's all of the cruise line stuff now I got a second uh, DVC t-shirt. Me and Rachel actually both got this one. This one's super cute. It's like got all of the um, same sort of symbols that were on the other top, but they've like got um, a mixture of colors in there. So it's got all the different resorts in case that you don't know. Let me find our home resort. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> our home resort is Animal Kingdom Lodge. So that's a little symbol. I assume it is. <laughs> I don't know where else you'd find a giraffe um, and then it also has things like the skyliner on there which i guess is riviera yeah i just think this is really nice it's got like the stripes on it and stuff on the side and this was 34.99 but yeah i really like that one okay we're getting through it guys we're nearly there we're nearly there i think this is my favorite purchase maybe yeah i think so i think so um this is just a simple water cup but it is um themed after jungle cruise so if i come up closer um this is going to be really hard to show oh i think you can see it well there right see it says inside the mug there it is the back side of water i oh, know there it is ladies and gentlemen <laughs> so it says there it is ladies and gentlemen the back side of water and of course that is from as it says down the bottom the jungle cruise and i just thought that was really cool because like I don't know, it's kind of odd, like nobody's really gonna know what that is unless they know about the Jungle Cruise. Um, and then on the outside, obviously it's backwards because you're supposed to look through the water to see it. So yeah, I just think it's really clever. It's just a simple like, open it and drink. Um, there's no straw or anything like that. And again, I thought I'll keep this and have this as my water bottle in my new job. So yeah, I like it. And look, I've just realized something. They go nicely together. They're both blue. So, oh, little things like that make me so happy. <laughs> okay. This item, I didn't like buy separately. It came with a drink and it is a Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. I didn't know it was called a Grog Grotto. But it's, um, it's a tiki mug, basically. It's really heavy, though. I didn't realize they'd be so heavy. When I looked in the picture, I thought they'd be kind of, like, more plasticky. But it's more, like, like pottery, you know? It's really heavy. Let's see if I can take it out show you a bit better. So, yeah, it's just got, like, a tiki mug. And then it says, yeah, Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. I love it. I can't even remember the drink that we got in that, but it's, um... The night that we go to Ohana, which I know hasn't come out yet. I think that, that's a couple of vlogs away. 
and I've got another cruise line item. <laughs> um, this is a cruise line bag, as you can see. Um, this was $15.99, reduced from $39.99, and it's just too stinking cute. I couldn't leave it on the shelf. I like almost put this one back when they started to ring up my items, and I was like, Karen, what have you done? Why have you bought all this cruise line stuff? There's literally, on most like cruises, only four or five days where you can wear clothes and stuff, and I probably have enough like, <laughs> stuff to do me a whole cruise and I already have stuff from before so yeah but it's cool it's a big bag I figured this is perfect for taking to Castaway Key and then inside it has like the cruise line pattern and yeah it's just really nice I really like this one so that is it for the items that I have taken home with me but there was two other items that we got except they were for the lovely family dog that we have at home, which is Buzz, who you may know if you watch my channel, but Buzz is a little pug that we got actually about this time last year. Oh no, a bit later. We got him in December, because I remember when I was doing Vlogmas, we got him like halfway through Vlogmas. And um, yeah, we got him a couple of cute little things. So what I'm gonna do is just insert um, a little video of Buzz with his <laughs> items that we purchased from him. So I know Rachel actually took some pictures and stuff as well when we first gave them to him or when she first gave them to him. So yeah, um, I got him a cute little Mickey uh, squeak toy, which is like the Mickey ice cream and then, uh, or the Mickey bar. And then Rachel got him a spirit jersey like jumper and it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> so that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this haul video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. If you wanna see more videos like this or if you wanna check out my vlogs from my Walt Disney World trip, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you real soon. Bye.